Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. In this video, I'm going to create an SCCM package to execute PowerShell script. So now let's get started. Here I'm in software library and I'm going to packages. I'm going to create a new package by right click create package. I'm going to call this Firefox removal. I'm going to give the source files or source folder. As you can see here, I have Firefox remove um, PowerShell script. So I'm going to copy the path and place it here. Okay, next, it's going to be a standard programs. I'll click next. I'm going to call this remove Firefox. The command line, it's going to be C Windows slash system32. slash Windows PowerShell. Windows PowerShell. Let's call this a capital P slash V1 dash zero dash not dash slash power shell.exe so I'm going to run on Windows 10 this is where the power shell.exe is located hit a space it's going to be slash execution policy space bypass dash file and then a quote open open quote a dot slash and the name of the PowerShell script which is Firefox remove dot ps1 close quote so this is the command line you must have this kind of command line in order for the PowerShells to work will be normal program run as Windows uh, whether use whether or not users log on that's correct click next and changes to 20 minutes leave it required programs I am not going to run any program first that's fine everything looks good here I'm going to click next and next again close now I'm going to distribute the contents I'm going to distribute contents click next choose my DP click OK and next and next and close so now the package has been created I'm going to deploy it right click go to deploy I'm going to deploy to all system as available OK next Like next and next again that's fine I don't need maintenance windows I want to make sure I choose this one download contents that means it's going to download the content if there's no DPs available or boundaries associated with it I recommend to do it this way allow clients that's fine here check this box 
and next close all right now let's go to my test device so this device i have firefox on it let's go into force the policy actions machine policy retrieval let's open up software center probably going to take a few minutes here um, let's see if I can force the policy again so let me open up the programs and I want to show you the command line let me open up notepad uh, open up wordpad this enlarge it so you can see better from YouTube video so this is the command line you want to make sure you have C Windows System 32 <coughs> Windows PowerShell slash v1.0 slash powershell.exe space uh, dash execution policy bypass dash file and then the open quote dot slash uh, the name of the PowerShell let's go back here it's not here yet I'm going to force the policy again All right, I'm going to pause the recording. Oh, there it is. By the time I'm going to launch it, Firefox removal, remove Firefox. Click on install. You're going to see the icon disappear. As you can see, the icon disappear. <coughs> that means the PowerShell script is working and the package, SSM package is working. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.